Okay, moving on. I'm going to continue with my unboxing of the Convergence Kit. Earlier, I had unboxed the Rebel Alliance. Now, this is the Galactic Empire. And here we go. Let me just take the wrapping right off. And I was looking at the Rebel Alliance. They have about uh, two um, maneuver wheels per ship. So, so for those that have multiple purchases of miniatures, just keep that in mind. I think I have three of some ships, so I'll probably have to buy another conversion kit. Okay, so you get the rules. Feel free to freeze the video to read up on this. Okay. And here's your card stock. Cards. Four decks of cards, and this. Um, let's start off with the cards. Let's go quickly through these cards here, get you an idea. Feel free to freeze the video if you want to read up on any of them. So just like the Rebel Alliance, the Galactic Empire has lots of cards to choose from. Okay, so here's the pilot cards. This could be interesting. Artwork looks really nice. Cards feel about the same as the previous cards. Not too heavy, but not too thin either. Also, like I mentioned earlier, the pilot skills is from ranges one to six. Uh, first edition is one through nine, so that's why there's adjustment in that. That oh. the piloting skill is now called the initiative. Also, uh, what's common is on the maneuver dial, TIE Fighter seems to be the only ship that hasn't been adjusted, so it's the baseline ship. So for people who have lots of TIE Fighters, the maneuver dial is pretty much the same. OK. 
Okay, let's go through this quickly. Next one. <clears throat> Same cards. Okay, very nice graphics, quality is very good. Last deck. If anyone's interested, I'll do a comparison video between the first and second. Just let me know in the comments section. Or if there's any particular ships details that if you're interested, just go ahead and mention the comment section. I'll see if I could put something together. Now, I was a little bit hesitant about getting the second edition simply because I do have a lot invested in the first edition. The first edition is still a very valid game. It's still very enjoyable. Um, but for competition play, uh, you will have to use a second edition. I'm not competing at this time, but I'm a more of a completist and also I do like to keep my games up to date and so that's part of the reason why I picked up the second edition. The drawback though is because I have maybe two to three different copies I may have to get more than one conversion kit. So that's the big negative there, it's not cheap at this point in time. So I was just as bummed as everyone else when you have to consider upgrading your data cards in maneuver dials. So based on what I've seen with the designers we're talking about, this is very much a, um, they address a lot of refinements in the games and older ships that didn't have certain capabilities that weren't present at the time, now they're available. And with the updated maneuver cards and dials, which is cool. And for my opinion, this game is, will be a game that can be played for years to come, so it's, at the end of the day, I think it's gonna be worth it going to this upgrade even though it's sort of a initial painful experience if you have a lot invested already, like myself. Okay, so here's three TIE Fighter dials, that's cool. 
Oh no, there's a four one. Okay, that's one of the questions I had is how many of each ship you get. And as you can see on this one, you actually get more than a few. Okay, Thai advanced. Looks like there's quite a few there. Great, great. So see, that's one of my concerns, though, in terms of maneuver dials and updating. How, if you have multiple ships of the same type, how many conversion kits do you, do you have to get? Or how much you have to get from eBay? Depending if there's individual packs out there. So this gives you an idea, at least of this one. If you have multiple of these type of ships, what your options are. Okay, so that's... Uh, pretty much the end of the video, or did I cover this already? Let's see. Cards for this. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I believe I covered this already. Um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. Let me know your comments of what kind of other videos you want to see um, box open. And talk to you later. Bye.